Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another video. Today we're going to be having a look at this brand new crab that's appeared on our maps. I know this is a bit late for the video, but I've actually had a little bit of time to think about exactly what this actually is. Now, I saw Nick and I's video and basically he thinks it could be a crab and he has evidence towards this because someone in the forums um, skipped skipped their um, time um, to January the 15th and they actually um, got a notification saying that the crab or the crab has risen or something like that. So that proves that, um, well we don't know if it's, if, if it's actually legit, but this proves that this is actually um, a crab and basically if you look at the previous um, unboxing video where you saw Dr. Terror on some sort of organ, um, that's basically what I think it could be possibly be. Now, this is obviously going to be some sort of event. Now, the, the event at the moment, which is a six-day cycle, obviously everyone knows um, the six-day cycle. It goes Dr. Terror, it goes Dr. Terror, Dr. Terror, Colonel Gearhart, Dr. Terror, Dr. Terror, um, Hammerman. Now, now if we add it to one more to that cycle, which will be a seven day cycle, I don't think this is a possibility now, just because of the fact that I think Supercell like it so it's a six day cycle, so that the, um, for example, Gearhart will not be on the same day every single week. If you add another um, event in into the weekly cycle, it means that they will be they will have to be that Pacific day. Uh, for example, if it's a Saturday, Colonel Gearhart will always be a Saturday. Now I think they like to rotate that just in case people are busy on Pacific days and they might miss out and they'll never get to to do play some of these events now. Um, the only other possible thing that could be for an event, if it's an all t event that happens all the time, almost like operations. So as you guys know, operations um, and task forces, they are you can do that anytime you want. Now I think it's going to be something like this as well. I definitely think it's not going to be on the six day cycle. Um, it, it is, they said it's going to be a pretty big update, so I think it's going to be pretty impressive and they've, they're have really hyping it up this time. Um, they're putting a lot of money into marketing on adverts for Dr. Terror. I've seen a few already, as you guys already know. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Um, there's another thing that I was uh, got, um, well, managed to be lucky enough to get in the box was a map and it shows arrows pointing towards my base. Now this shows that it might happen in different uh, locations all the time. Um, I'm not really sure what, I think it would be good if it gets other people involved as well, so it's not just a solo event, if you could get some of your task force members involved, would be absolutely great, and another really good um, bonus to the game. Um, it's all a waiting game now, we've got 18, well, 18 days and 19 hours at this exact point when I'm recording this, so we're just going to have to wait. The, the only thing I can really think of, if you definitely if you get in players, other players involved, it's going to make the game obviously a lot better. Um, that's really a big key feature. Um, other than that, there's not really much you can really predict. Um, we're going to have to keep watching the adverts that they bring out, the commercials, some sneak peeks maybe. Well, probably there's most likely going to be sneak peeks, obviously up to the up to the release of this. Um, I think there's going to be more than just this event as well. Definitely think there's going to be more. Um, so hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Beamish videos. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think it's going to be. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.